Hey everybody, welcome to the Digital Foyer. I'm Matt Vaughn, I'm a communications coordinator here at St. Benedict Parish, and uh, yeah, we're, Mass has ended, we're gonna get started here, Digital Foyer. I'm so pleased to be joined by, on the left side of your screen, Father Simon Lobo, <laughs> and on the right side of your screen, Deacon David Vicon, our homilist today. So we've got the pastor, we've got the homilist, and I'm a little guy on a TV. That's what's happened this, this week. Is, this is awesome. Yeah. Matt, like, you're not physically with us. You're digitally no. with us in the digital foyer. Very, very digital just, here in the foyer. I just feel like Deacon David and I are socially distanced. You, do we have to be socially distanced from the TV? As long as you can, you can get close to the TV as long as you don't get close to Deacon David. I think that's fine. <laughs> I, can, I can come in close. Whoa. I can, okay, I can all right, kind of, okay, 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 come on, come on. Let's not get, I can give you a hug. Crazy here. Okay. I'll I miss you, buddy. Right, I on. miss I you. Right I miss you. Anyway, <laughs> so I can get as close to the TV as I want, but yeah. we're going to stay. You know what, folks at home, you can too. <laughs> I encourage you to go hug your television. Yeah. Um, maybe when your favorite person's on there or so. So yeah, digital foyer. Here we are. Usually we take questions from people. We're gonna do exactly that today. So I just want to encourage you, uh, wherever you're watching from right now, if you have any questions, I see here uh, Marcel's asking uh, am I, if, I like, if I am like a hologram. Uh, I think hologram is going to be next week. I think Peter's working on making me a hologram. That would be so, so cool. cool. You know what? I, uh, coming down here, I was, I was thinking about Max Headroom. It's from very the similar. 80s. It's a little bit, or a little bit before my time, but I know what you mean. I know it was before both of your times. I was yeah. just quickly I, I doing the, the math. We both get it. A yeah, bit you there. were like a kid. You were still in diapers. <laughs> it's true. When Max Headroom was around, but anyway, yeah, I was in college by then. But there you are. Yeah, there we Max go. Max Headroom, but that's I, that I had that exact thought coming down here looking at Matt, who happens. You know, Matt, Max, it's not that far away. It's not that far off, Mad Max, right. same thing there. I saw a question there in the chat. Anna asked if we could link to the music. If you go to stbenedict.ca slash listen, you get a playlist for this past week. And you can always go to our YouTube channel and watch uh, the music again after Mass if you want to. So youtube.com slash mm. stpp. Beautiful. So, you get there. so yeah, feel free, yeah, feel free to ask some questions there. Uh, I imagine there may be some questions around what we can offer right now with gathering sizes restricted. I mean, right now it's pretty straightforward, which is this. Uh, and we have, you know, the Advent Reconciliation drama and everything happening with there. Um, so yeah, so you have things coming up there. Uh, someone oh. earlier, a good question there, asked about the, uh, the medal that Father Simon was wearing. Uh, so I think it might have come from the pre-mass announcements there, Father Simon. When you're, when you're in your black clerical oh, yes. outfit, oh, you've got a shit, you've got your, your thing, Hit you've got your little guy there. see if we can get this out here, here for he the camera. <clears throat> this is uh, a medal, a medallion for representing the Companions of the Cross. So that's the religious community that Father Alex and I and, and our seminarian Isaac all belong to. Uh, there's a couple other companions of the cross here in Halifax, and uh, so they're, wow, we can hear your typing super loud, Matt. That's awesome. Uh, so, but yeah, it basically represents a guy who's embracing a cross, uh, and that represents, in some ways, all of us are called to be companions of the cross, to embrace our cross, and to follow after Jesus as his disciples, and so uh, that's the name of our religious community. You can go to companionscross.org, a little bit of shameless self-promotion if you want to know more about uh, my community. So there you go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Great question there. Um, I had another question here. Uh, let's see here. Marlene was wondering why there's no Advent wreath at Mass today. First Sunday of Advent. No oh, wreath. there is. There actually is. <laughs> and there's a candle that's lit. I guess we never got it on camera. I think we so did. Yeah, we did there. one time. I saw we, did, we did yep. one time. So one time. you're going to have to go back through the feed, look for the Easter egg. <laughs> it is there. Guarantee you. But yep. uh, yeah. There. It's actually, it's now, this is an way. interesting question, and I'll just say this. So the Advent wreath, it's not necessarily a liturgical tradition mm. that's meant for in church, though we often do it in church. It's actually something that's primarily meant for families, for at home. And so I encourage you, at home, this is a great way as you're setting up little home chapels and stuff like that right now over these weeks, so you can't physically come to church, uh, set up an Advent wreath uh, with, you know, some, if you can find some twigs or branches in the yard, and a few candles. Normally there's three purple candles and one pink one. Uh, the pink one is for the third week, uh, Joy Sunday. And so, anyways. We can do better than twigs, Father Simon, because yes. if you go to tinyurl.com slash svkids35, you can find the, uh, our Advent resources that Laura put together for the kids. And that includes an Advent wreath you can, wreath you can make at home. So we talked about that a little bit last week. So mm, here you go. That's super cool. tinyurl.com slash svbkids35. Another Advent-related question. And, Sorry for the typing, guys. Sure. Maybe, <laughs> no, no, that was hilarious. It was just, somebody could maybe type that in the comments, one of our hosts or something, yes. that, that link in the, in the different chats. And so people can find that really easily. So yeah, there you go. That. Do that, exactly. Another question here. Uh, Kelly asked, what time should we light our first Advent candle? I guess we did it, we did it this morning. Uh, but is there a time maybe that makes the most sense for, uh, for families? Well, here's a question. Deacon David, when do you do it? 
you were to do it at home, do you do it right now? Uh, do you do it morning. Time? Yep. Time for prayer, 6 a.m. Mm. Wow. 6 a.m. Yeah. for prayer. 6 a.m. Yeah, that is the, <laughs> that's what the rule. Canon law. Canon law says if, 6 a.m. You must be able to put the croquet on. If it's not so done, hopefully like... you have a rooster or something. No, actually, in my family, I'll just share briefly, from my own family tradition, we, we grew up, and throughout Advent, we did a couple things. It was in the evenings. We'd have gather as a family with prayer, and so we would light the candles. So all throughout week one, you'd only light the one purple candle. Week two, you'd light two purple candles. Week three, you'd light three, like two and a pink one. And anyways, uh, but we also had a Jesse tree. And so there's these readings from the Jesse tree, J-E-S-S-E. -S -S -E. You can just Google, Google that if you want, uh, readings for the Jesse tree. And you could find out every single day, um, starting today, I think, uh, there's going to be a, a short reading, and it takes you through the whole story of salvation history through the Bible, a quick overview, starting with the creation story in Genesis and, and through Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel and all those different stories. And it's a really great summary of, uh, of the faith, if, if you're curious to check that out. So that's called the Jesse tree. Hmm. There we go. I had a question here from... Uh, from Kathy, who uh, must be watching from somewhere else here, she asks, uh, that is a huge baptismal font at the back of your church. How do you use it for baptisms? So it's actually been a long time now since we've had uh, baptisms in the baptismal font. Uh, so Father Simon, when, you, uh, when you're dunking people, what do you do? Well, <clears throat> we, I would love to totally dunk people. As you can see, there's a little bit of a, a grate on the side here. And so uh, it only allows us to fill the tank about six inches, uh, and so, which is great. And so people will, maybe nine inches, so people will go in there and they'll usually kneel down and, uh, and then we'll, we'll dunk. Uh, we won't dunk them, but we'll pour water. And so often what will happen is we'll reach in and, and pour water over their heads while they're kneeling. That's for adults or, or older children. Or we'll use this little bowl over here for infant baptism. So there you go. There it is. So that's how, you, that's how you do it. And maybe, you know, we'll pray someday we can do that again in person, which would be great. Yes. That would be uh, lovely. Yeah. There's a question here, um, a question from Bruce. Can we light candles in the church? So I think there may be a question of, can you, know, can you come through the week and light candles and do a little bit of prayer there? What's the, uh, what's the, the ruling on that? The, the candles, not sure. Uh, the, which candles? The, the memorial candles? The, so yeah. no, we, we well, aren't. No, see, I, know, I know the answer to this one a little bit, because the, 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 the church is closed by the archdiocese. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I just wanted to kind of feed that to you. We guys. light What's them on the altar, mind you, but yes, yeah. we light those candles. Yeah. No, the, that's true. No, just to be clear, the church is closed to the public, period, yeah. uh, until uh, the restrictions are lifted. And so uh, that's, yeah. yeah. So you can light candles at home, though. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You can find them somewhere. If there's somewhere safe you can go, maybe they're at the grocery store or something like that. It's very possible there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, oh, there was, a question about, <laughs> there was a question about the bells at, uh, at uh, <laughs> communion time there. I know that my, my, I think my daughter at home is kind of interested in, in the bells yeah. as well. Uh, and she's Come on, Deacon David. I, I, Come didn't on. Like, I was like, busy enough. I had a lot to you do. You had one job. You had one <laughs> I, job to do. I no, you actually, you actually had 20 jobs to do. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't, I, I wasn't sure if people at home could hear them anyway. I mean, I could have jumped over there and, do, and rang it, them, but I, I, I just, I wasn't sure if people were going to hear them. Do That's people all. hear them, Matt? Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah well, it, it, well, during Mass, when it's live stream, people can certainly hear them, yeah. Okay. They're quite loud. Bells well, are designed to be well, there quite, you go. I, quite, I, you know, they have quite a something. high pitch to them. They're quite audible. There okay. we go. Yeah. I have learned something. I promise I will, I will ring them the next time. <laughs> ring them bells. You know what? You I have encourage my you at home to, to, to ring anything, to, to clang anything you want the, there. The next, just time case the, have the next time I'm the homilist and the lector and the altar server and the deacon and the person who reads the spiritual prayer, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll ring the bells too. <laughs> so, okay. You did amazing. This stuff. guy no, is amazing. No, no, no. I no, have no. to say. Listen, uh, I, I'm the third. No, I'm the third busiest person in here because I would say it's a toss up maybe between Nathan and Father Simon, who's the busiest. Nathan is the camera guy who's on the other end of that lens. Oh. And there you are. <laughs> I'm definitely. And Father I think, Simon. I think the AV, the, third. the AV crew definitely are amazing. Yeah. Big shout out to uh, everybody who's just done such an. I can't believe oh, it. Like, yeah. I don't even know how this is happening right yeah. now. I assume Incredible. that there's somebody on the other side watching, <laughs> and I'm, I'm seeing yep. stuff come up on my phone, so it seems like this is happening. I have no idea how it happened. It might as well be magic. But uh, mm. thank you for the geniuses, literally, who make this. Not that we don't believe in magic, by the way. Yeah. But thank you for the geniuses <laughs> that uh, really make this all possible. I just have to stand here and, and do my priest bit, but I assure you, uh, the crew, they're amazing. 
But I did want to say great job on the homily, Deacon David. Well, thank I you. I love the message of, you know, basically, normally it's so crazy this time of year, yes. and whether we like it or not, we've been forced to slow down. And that, there's actually a, a hidden gift in that. We can mm. slow ourselves down to really enter into um, uh, the season of Advent in preparation for Christmas. Mm. But those were the exact words of Dr. Strang uh, on Tuesday at his yeah, press conference. Right? COVID-19 will force us to slow down for Advent and Christmas. How about that's that? What he, yeah, I mean, that's yeah. basically what he said. I mean, he might have said the holidays, but that's basically what yeah. he was saying. He's, so, he is a man of faith. He is yeah, a Christian, is. a believer, uh, definitely practices faith. And so, yeah. Dr. Strang, if you are watching this feed Somehow, right now, miraculous. I want you to know we are praying for you and mm. your team and the premier and mm. all of the leaders. I, I can't even imagine how challenging and stressful your job is. Uh, we're praying for you. Mm -hmm. So God bless you. Thank you for your leadership. We've got some lovely, yeah, we've got some excellent leadership here in the province. And, hey, and then with you, Father Simon, as a leader as well at the parish. <laughs> Why not? Let's affirm you too. Let's do that. So sure, before sure. we get to the socks, I just want to hit once again that the, uh, the Advent Bible study, you can go to stbenedict.ca slash weary world. stbenedict.ca slash weary world. And if you want to uh, sign up for the Advent Family Prayer Challenge, that's uh, you text 902-900-0509. To do that, text the word Advent to that. And now I had a question here whether or not we're going to do socks or not. And we are going to do socks. So every week, the digital I, are we going to do socks? I hope Nathan won last week for his mask. Well, you know what? Okay, there was all sorts of votes for the mask last week, but honestly, it was actually a tie. I was a statistical deadlock as far as I could tell. So there's the wow. Cameron Tartan that Deacon David had that had equal votes to yeah. Father Alex's uh, flamingo socks. So anyway. It's a tie this week. Let's see. Maybe we can have a, a clear winner. Maybe or not. Do you guys have socks this I, week? Am I, I overstepping here? Still think Nathan won last week. We've got socks. We got We've socks. Got socks. Okay, we always we always have socks. Oh, there's so, yeah. a bit of, bit of love for Sarah and Eric, by the way, on, on yes. the music. Yes, oh, yeah. absolutely. Very much uh, music deserving. So God bless those two. Thumbs up. Uh, as they well were for the music. Awesome. Beautiful stuff. And, oh, one quick thing before the socks. Yeah. Deacon David, you mentioned your Bible study plan. Mm -hmm. Did you already blast off uh, an invitation? Mm -hmm. I did too. And I invited, awesome. I invited everybody except for you. So I figure, <laughs> let's have a contest. We'll see. Who, uh, that's, I'm not even going to come close. You should join his, join his Bible plan. No, we'll see no. if Father Alex, Father Alex might not have any people join we his. He's got like so. a thousand so, friends. I think anyways, I have like five. The goal is, is to have as many people as possible doing something daily yeah. uh, to pray. To, we got time. We're slowing down. So let's, uh, let's join in. Let's do it. Yeah. And now let's vote for some socks. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, right. Let's start with them. Um, Let's start with, well, wherever Nathan goes first. Deacon David, it looks like here. Okay, so. all right. I give a shout out to all Ooh. pet lovers and pet owners. These are pugs. They're pugs. And uh, honestly, the those. only person that I know has a pug is uh, Jenna's friend, Dana McDonald, has a pug. Very. I don't particularly like pugs, but I mean, I, like, I love dogs. <laughs> if you have a pug, write in the comments, too. You're probably going to vote Which is for odd, isn't dogs. it? I, I wear socks to the dog that I don't really like. But, they're cute. I mean, if they they're were cute. Bernese mountain dogs, I'd what if, really love them. What if pugs were watching right now? Anyway, they're Deacon David. We pugs watching. I think I think we're into reruns here for me. However, Ooh, these uh, these socks, uh, you see the purple in there, matches my stole and chasuble. I'm just trying to get into the season of Advent, you know. So, uh, so I'm pretty sure you've seen those before, but that's all I got. Perfect. I get the sympathy. Did we did we already see Nathan's mask Pat last week? Well, yeah. it was Batman last week. Is he have the same? Oh, one? we've got something different oh, today. Man. Are we able to show Can it? Can you spin that around? <laughs> Look oh, at that. Gosh. Oh, it I is can't compete Spider Man. With that. I would. Spider Man. I would. Sweet. I'm voting for Nathan. Me too. Web crawler himself. <laughs> He's got my vote. I love yes. it. So yes, yeah, so you can vote for uh, either uh, the pug socks of Deacon David. You can mm -hmm. vote for the uh, the blue and purple Adventy socks from Father <laughs> Simon Lobo. Or I guess you can just say, "I love that mask. Spider Man is great," etc. You can do that. Spider Man. Uh, but you know what? That's going to do it for us this week in the Digital Foy. Thank you so much for joining us for Mass and the Digital Foy. Coming up next, XPP Kids Online Church with Laura. Take it away.